Hey guys, so I'm so excited to do this video for you guys today. It is on skincare. So I'm gonna show you guys how I take care of my skin and I'm also gonna show you guys my famous little mist here. And I'm gonna go through the recipe with you guys because I know you guys really want to see the recipe. A lot of it is gonna be supernatural and focused on anti-aging, of course, because we're at that age. Well, I'm at that age. Billy. Sit. Okay. You're such a bad boy, but you're so cute. So you're so lucky for that. Taking care of my skin is probably one of the most important things to me right now. I would have to say just because of my age, I'm 27 years old. So when you're around that age, you kind of think as anti-aging as this thing that's like running behind you. It's going really fast, right? So you have to like speed it up. And as you get older, you have to run faster and faster. So yeah, I would say I started worrying about aging when I was 25 because I guess that's like the mid mark between 20 and 30. That's what kind of really woke me up and I think that that's what made me go to all natural. Um, I feel like my lines are not as visible anymore. Um, I feel like my skin is so much more hydrated and I just felt like with using regular store-bought products, I felt like every two hours I was like, oh, I need to put some more on because I've lost the hydration in my skin and it just, I just didn't feel like it worked for me. I feel like my skin has always been a little bit sensitive to a lot of chemicals. That's why I'm going to show you guys a couple of products today where we're going to slow that beast down behind us because we got to get rid of it and we have to stay as young as possible for as long as we can. So I'm also going to share with you guys a couple tips that I've learned along the way. So if you ever get a pimple on your face, I tend to get pimples in this sort of area for some reason. So I have like a pimple right here right now and I think I have one like right here. But I do touch my skin a lot here so I'm guessing that that's why that happens. But what I do when I have a little pimple like that, I've heard just to use alcohol. So I grab a pad or a, um, a Q-tip and you just dip it in some rubbing alcohol and I just put it on the actual pimple. The other thing I like to use on pimples or any wounds that you did open or you scratched and it opened the pimple or something is vitamin E. Vitamin E is perfect, perfect for healing stuff. It heals pretty much anything. Anytime I get a cut or something or a scratch, I put vitamin E on there and it just takes it away in literally a day I see so much, so much change on the skin. I'm gonna go through the routine that I do in the morning first and then I'll show you guys what I do at night. Okay, so we've tied up the hair because just can't function when my hair is down. So I get up in the morning, my face is all washed. I cleanse it with the Bioderma cleanser. I have to read the products, guys, because remember, I don't know what the products are called. It's the three-in-one step cleansing milk. I love this one because I did have a dry skin problem for a long, long, long time. I will talk a little bit about that. Um, so the cleansing milk is a lot less harsh on my skin. I have used the Philosophy Cleanser, which is super popular. And I do also use that one sometimes when I really wear a ton of makeup and I want it to really all come off. That one I find is a little bit more harsher on the skin, so I'll use that one. But as for my everyday cleanser, this is my best friend. This is what I use. So when your face is all cleansed, the next step I do is I spray my mist on my face. A lot of you guys want to know how to make my anti-aging mist. So I'm going to share a little secret with you guys. I actually bought a smaller so cute I got this one from forever 21 it was like a package that came with a bunch of little containers I also have my oil in like a bottle with a pump that I got so I was like so excited when I saw that so I carry this one with me in my purse and I have this one at home so we have big guy little guy let's start with the recipe what I've done is I've basically filled up the bottle three quarters of the way with some water we are going to add in there some glycerin I get this one from Walmart. So glycerin is super good for keeping moisture on the skin. And I love to use it even as like a nighttime cream because you just feel so, so moisturized and I love it so much. The second ingredient, very, very important, is my vitamin C. Vitamin C is so good for anti-aging. I have been using this, I would say for 
think it's been about a month and a half now and I have noticed a ton ton of progress on like fine lines on your face I especially get them around the mouth lines here because I smile a lot so that's the downside if you guys smile a lot you get smile lines so like don't smile just use the resting the RB face are you okay like why aren't you smiling yeah, so vitamin C is another one of my best friends. All these guys are my best friends because they're making my skin look good. Vitamin E, I have two different bottles here. One is off of Amazon and one is from Walmart. This one you'll find in the first aid aisle if you guys are looking for it. And that's where you also will find the glycerin one. So that's another ingredient in here. And then I like to put an oil in there. So I'm going to use coconut oil. This guy is pretty much my savior because as I was saying before I had severe dry skin like my nose would be flaking I would put foundation on my makeup would look fine and then my nose would be all dry I'd be flaking my forehead was flaking everywhere was flaking and when you have dry skin foundation I don't know if you guys have ever had it before but foundation just doesn't stick on your skin like when you're dry imagine you putting foundation on something that's so so dry and it's cracking the, the foundation just looks so horrible so my sister was obsessed with coconut oil and she suggested that I use coconut oil on my face and this guy literally saved my skin. So that's the last ingredient we're going to put inside of our mixture. Okay guys, so the first thing we're going to add is our glycerin. Again, you don't have to measure how much you're putting in, but just make sure you're putting enough. I would say if you use a bottle this size, you can use a good two tablespoons. The next thing you want to add is your vitamin C. Again, with this one, I would put a good two to three tablespoons because you do want a lot of vitamin C on your skin. And now we're going to put some coconut oil. So the funny thing with coconut oil is that if it's hot inside, it melts. And if it's room temperature or fairly cool like what it is now, then it doesn't melt. There we go. <laughs> So I would say to put a good tablespoon of coconut oil in there. Okay, so the last thing we're going to put inside of our secret mist is our vitamin E. So I would put about one to two tablespoons. So now we're all done. <sighs> so refreshing. You instantly feel all of the oil just on your skin. I just love feeling hydrated all the time. In the summertime, I would always spray this on my face because it's just so refreshing. But in the winter and the fall coming up, the air is going to get a bit more dry. So it is really worth it to have this too and always spray it on your face. I will link below where you can find these little guys just so that you guys can carry it around in your purse as well because it's always nice to just be out and randomly just... Before I apply my moisturizer, I use my Hawaiian Tropic sunscreen. Sunscreen is very, very important for your face because of course it protects you from even more lines and sunscreen is one of the top, if you guys look it up, it's one of the top things they recommend to always put on your face and I completely agree with it because the sun is beautiful and everything and you can roast under it but I'd rather just put on a fake tan, you know, people, because later on in life, You'll see what the sun's doing. Coconut oil is my moisturizer. Yes, it's my moisturizer. One thing that people do not know about coconut oil is that it is a natural sunscreen. How cool is that? Yes, it's oil, but it also depends on the temperature. So it's pretty cool. If it's really hot inside, yes, you're gonna look like a melting popsicle stick. If it's cool in room temperature, you're not going to look at your skin and be like, oh my god, she's so oily. I wear it every single day and nobody ever tells me that my skin is super, super oily. So what I do is I literally just take this amount on the palm of my hands. And again, when you mix it, that's when it gets all melted because you're mixing it with the heat. And then I just literally put it all over my face. Make sure you put it on your eyelids, your forehead. This is like my special area because of my smile lines. So I get there. I also put it along my neck. You absolutely want to moisturize your neck because you do get lines there as well. That's the problem with long nails. You just get things underneath them. So there you go, guys. That's my moisturizer. That's what I do every single day on my face. Does it look super oily to you? 
I actually don't even mind having a sort of wet oily look because I feel like it's really in right now to just be super natural and glowing so it doesn't really bother me it's so funny because I went to Walmart and I was buying some cream contour sticks and this lady I would say she was about maybe close to 50 and she's like your skin is so beautiful it looks like those silk balls you know those silk balls no I, I don't know what kind of balls you're talking about like silk I'm like thank you like that's so sweet that you think my skin looks like silk and she's like what do you use and I'm like I use coconut oil on my face like that's my moisturizer and she's like coconut oil don't you get super oily and there's always that that stigma with putting oil all over your face like your skin's gonna be super oily but at the end of the day your skin does need to drink those oils your skin is asking and begging for hydration speaking of hydration I said, well, it's what I use morning and night, and it's what you see on my face right now, and am I super oily? And she's like, no, you're not oily at all. I'm like, well, there you go. And she's like, you don't use any creams on your face? Like, everybody's always so shocked because the market really pushes, of course, new skin products and new creams and stuff like that. I would prefer that it just said coconut oil, and I'm like, oh, coconut oil. It's pure. Perfect. The second step is vitamin C. So vitamin C, like I was saying to you guys before, is absolutely amazing for lines. So I basically just put a few drops on the palm of my hand. And the first area I go to is my smile area. Because I love to smile so much and that's what happens when you smile, people. Remember, just look mean all the time. Just don't do that. All over the forehead because you might get a couple of fine lines there around the sides here I'm like reapplying over here like three times and down by the neck as well you do not need a lot of this vitamin C so that's literally my morning routine so besides taking care of your skin with skin products water very important hydrates your skin it's amazing for your body and I've noticed a huge huge change in my skin once I drink a ton of water I drink approximately three liters some days if I go to the gym I'll drink up to four and a half that's why I love drinking at the gym because those days I know I get four and a half liters of water and it's just super important for hydrating your skin so if you guys don't drink water try to incorporate it slowly I used to drink zero water my sister would be like how much water did you have today and i'm like nada another really good tip if you do have a pimple on your face and it's like really serious and it's just staring you right in the face and in the mirror is tea tree oil you can also get tea tree oil from Walmart. Make sure when you guys do use this on your pimples that you use a cotton pad and use a new one every single time you touch the actual bottle because you don't want the bacteria that you just put on your pimple going onto the bottle again because then it contaminates it and it doesn't do its job anymore. Okay, so now I'm going to show you guys what I like to do at nighttime. So if I'm coming home from the gym, I immediately take all my makeup off. The makeup wipes that I like to use are from Walmart. They're Equate brand. So those are the ones I like to use. So it says cleansing and makeup removing tablets with chamomile and vitamin E. I love to buy, they have a box that comes with, I think it's like four or six packs. I'm right on it, I go and buy those. And my favorite cleansing water is the Garnier, very similar to the Bioderma, of course. You guys can get this one at Walmart as well. So what I like to do, I use both of them. I use the Bioderma and the, and the um, Garnier. Obviously this one's more affordable and I can be cheap when it comes to this stuff, so I like to go for them. So what I like to do is I like to wet it with this. It gets it all moist and it makes it just even more easier to clean all over the face. So I'm gonna take off all the oil that I just put on right now because I'm gonna show you guys my nighttime routine. Once I'm done cleansing, I go right back to step one spray my face I like to use something a lot more intense so usually during a night you should be using something that's a bit more heavier so I like to use grapeseed oil 
that's what it looks like it's like this greenish color and I have it in this bottle with this pump it's the same package that I got with this forever 21 sort of spray bottle too so what I like to do is I just like to pump a couple of drops in the palm of my hand and I just put it all over my face with this make sure you get underneath the eye and then usually at nighttime my lips are really dry so I do like to put some vitamin E on my lips vitamin E is such a good lip balm I carry it with me in my purse and I just love using it all the time it just keeps your lips so hydrated for so many so many hours the skin feels super super oily I love it and then the ultimate ultimate is the vitamin C you have to put this at night so I put a couple drops again because vitamin C overnight is just gonna help tighten the skin I can feel my skin dancing okay guys so that's basically what I do at nighttime it's super easy basically just a ton of oil put my mist on my face and make sure you put vitamin C so you basically have everything you need before you go to bed and when you wake up you're all refreshed another thing that's very important for your skin is exfoliating I make my own exfoliator what I've put in this bowl is some raw sugar so what I do is I mix some glycerin inside of here and again I use a brush like this just to mix it all up and it is important that if you guys do go to the gym to exfoliate your face every single day right after the gym because you do have sweat all over your face and that will cause you to break out over time it's even very important to exfoliate your entire body if you can too I know if you have tan on your body you don't want to exfoliate it I know it's so sad so that's what it looks like when it's done and you mix it all up and you literally just apply it all over your face and you just rub it in and then just wash it off and your skin is all exfoliated and it's 100% natural so this is completely a little bit off topic it's still for the skin but it's a new product that I have just tried from Saint Tropez so Saint Tropez is the tanning company and product that I love to use on my skin I love Saint Tropez it just gives me like this yellow olivey golden sort of tone um, and I just love the color that it comes out and this one is a bronzing lotion for the face so I found this one at Shoppers Drug Mart I will link it below I really like it for days like Saturday or Sundays because those are the days where I just give up on life no, I'm just joking um, some days on the weekends I don't want to apply any makeup so this one is just super easy to use at first I didn't think I liked it but it takes a few minutes for it to develop so that's what it looks like it already is very tinted and when you put it on your face it does have a tint to it but that's something I just wanted to show you guys if you guys are looking for something quick and easy to put on your skin on weekends I will be using this one a lot now because it's just super easy okay guys so that's it for my skincare video I had so much fun showing you guys all the products that I use and I hope that it inspires you guys and hopefully you find a new product that you like to use too and I'll see you guys next time